Hey everyone, it's Peter here. In today's video, I'm going to introduce you to three different apps that enable you to edit photos on your Chromebook. The first one is Photopea, which is a web-based photo editor that lets you edit photos and images in your browser for free. The second one we'll look at is Adobe Lightroom, which is an Android app available from the Play Store on your Chromebook. And lastly, we'll look at GIMP, which is a free open source image editor. I've put the time codes in the video description, so just press see more if you'd like to skip ahead. Okay, let's get started by looking at Photopea. So I'm just gonna click into the address bar and type in photopeer.com. It loads very quickly and we're given a view which looks really similar to Adobe's Photoshop. Down here I can see what file formats are compatible with Photopea. So we can use PSD files, we can open up camera raw files, JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs. To start with let's just open up their demo PSD file here. Just like in Photoshop we have our layers down on the right hand side. We can hide and show individual layers and right click on these and manage blending options. Any updates are shown in real time. Over on the left, we've got all of our normal tools we'd expect to see in Photoshop. So selection tools, cropping, color selector, a spot healing brush and normal brushes. Down here, we've also got our text tool. And up on the menu, we've got our edit options. We've got our image adjustment options, layer management, selection and filters. And now let's try open up uh, one of our photos. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and open up a photo I've downloaded to my Chromebook. So let's try this one and select Open. So it's opened this into a new tab. I've still got the other one open here. So let's switch back to this one. And now let's try adjusting this image. So I've got Auto Tone here for automatically adjusting the image's levels. So let's try this. There you go. It's done a reasonable job. Let's make this a bit bigger by going to View and Fit to Area. If I wanted to, just like in Photoshop, I can go to edit and step backward. Uh, and now let's try adjusting the levels ourselves. So let's go to the curves tool and fine tune this a little bit more. So let's just brighten up the shadows and bring down the highlights and press OK. And then to save what we've done, all we need to do is go to file and we can either save this as a PSD or I can export it as a JPEG. Here I can select the quality of the JPEG Let's select the maximum and hit save. And there you go, it's just downloaded it back into my downloads folder. And if I click on this, I can open it up in my Chromebook image viewer. Right, next up, let's have a look at Adobe Lightroom. So let's minimize this. And now I'm gonna open up the Play Store, my Chromebook. I'm on a managed Chromebook, hence I can only see a few Adobe apps. Normally you could just type into the search bar and let's search for Lightroom and then select Adobe Lightroom. And now let's press install. Okay, so Lightroom has downloaded and installed. So let's press open. Uh, we can skip this. And now let's sign in with our Google account. Here we go. So Lightroom is an Android app, which I think works really well on a Chromebook. First of all, let's try adding in some more images into Lightroom. So we need to just allow Lightroom access to our photos, media and files on our device. So let's press allow here. And now let's select a few images we want to import. So let's select a few from down here and press add. And now if we go to all photos, we'll see all of our images which have been imported into Lightroom. Uh, it's automatically divided up by the year they're taking in. So let's try opening up this image. This is a, a raw image. So over on the right hand side here, we've got our normal image adjustment tools. We can use these to do things like adjust our image levels and exposure and contrast. We've got color tools here for adjusting the color temperature. And then further down here, we've got effects detail to bring up more details in the photo. So we can adjust things like sharpening in here. And as we make edits, it just says here, we can actually tap and hold to compare edits. You can do this by using a touchpad or just tapping the screen. We can also use a screen to zoom in and out of the image. Also on the right hand side, we've got other tools. So we can do things like rotate and flip the image. We can crop the image and let's press done to affect those changes. We've also got a spot healing brush. We've also got the ability to make selective edits on sections of a picture. And we can also see the revision history. All edits are saved within Lightroom and we can also export images from Lightroom by using the share button on the top right hand side here. And from here, we can save this as a, an image to our device, or we could invite other people to edit this image. But let's just share this to our device. It's automatically selected my downloads folder. Uh, so let's just press save here and it's saved. The Adobe Lightroom Android app is a free app, 
But if you do happen to have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, you can also make use of Adobe's cloud storage to save your image edits. Let's now have a look at GIMP, which is an open source image editor. So the first thing we need to do is turn on Linux on our Chromebook, which is really easy. All we need to do is go down to the bottom right hand side here, click on the time, go to settings, which is the gear icon, and then go to the left hand side and select developers, and then go up here to where it says Linux development environment and select turn on. This opens up a wizard which will guide us through setting up Linux. So all we need to do here is press next. We can choose a username here and the only other decision we need to make is our disk size. So we can either go over a recommended size of seven and a half gigabytes or we can select a custom size. And this all depends on how many Linux apps you're planning to install. But in this example, let's just leave it as a recommended seven and a half gigabytes and select install. Amazing, so we now have Linux set up on our Chromebooks. So all we need to do now is install GIMP by typing in this command, sudo apt-get install GIMP, and hit enter, press Y for yes, and hit enter again. And now it's going to go off and download all the packages necessary to install GIMP and install it onto our Chromebook. Great, so that's finished installing. So now if we go down to our app launcher, let's expand this. And after activating Linux on our Chromebooks, we get a Linux apps folder. And then here we've got the Linux terminal. And here we have GIMP, which we just installed. So let's launch this. And here is GIMP. So let's make this a bit bigger to fill our screen. And now let's try opening up an image. So if I go to file and open, now this directory is showing my Linux home directory, but I can't actually see uh, my downloads folder. So what I need to do first is if I cancel this, and now let's open up the files app. So let's go down to the app launcher again, open up files. What I need to do is share my downloads folder with the Linux virtual machine. So if I right click on downloads and say share with Linux, and now if I minimize this, go back to file, and open and unfortunately this is a bit of a convoluted path so we need to go into a file system go into a mount directory chrome os and my files and here we can see downloads and these are our sample images downloaded earlier so let's try opening up one of these so this is the image we're editing earlier in lightroom and you can see here in gimp we've got many of the same tools as we had available in photopea we also got a color adjustment tools um, similar to what's in Photopea and Lightroom. So here we can manage a color balance. We can do things like use the curves tool, like just like we were earlier, and adjust the levels of the image. And I'm not going to go into too much depth now because there's lots of tutorials which already exist on how to use GIMP. But GIMP really does have a lot of tools and filters to explore. And after editing your image, now let's go to File and let's save this as a new copy. By default, it will save it as an XCF file. Let's hit save there. Or if we want to, we can export this as a JPEG. So let's go to export as, and we can export it as a JPEG or a PNG here. And let's press export. And now it's saved that to our downloads folder. Okay, well, I hope you found this video useful. Which tool you'd want to use though will depend largely on what functionality you're looking for. If you're just looking for basic photo editing and correction tools, then Lightroom would be absolutely fine. If you need something more advanced where you want to the ability to control layers and add in text and other elements into your image, then GIMP or Photopea may be more suitable. And if you did find this video useful, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.